Big news coming in as 380 million of tokenization put on Stellar and Polygon chains. Also going to talk excellent price action. Retailers are feeling the squeeze, but from who? And you know what I'm talking about when it comes to retails, retail money. Going to talk about Bitcoin and other cryptos. Getting some good news relief? Oh yes, it looks like the Fed may give us what we want, a good Christmas. And Klaus, are you talking about Christmas in May? Yeah, I didn't do the theatrical lights for nothing. Gabriel Hufu says, Portillo's. Y'all get about 2,000 shares of that stock at $12. Business is booming, dude, for real. Portillo's is awesome. Not sponsored by them. This is my own thing. Portillo's, if you want to sponsor me, you're totally welcome to. But for real, I moved down south. And the, the food down south is a little bit more bland when it comes to flavor. And Portillo's was like a family staple, dude. Like big family meals. Don't worry, we're going to get in crypto. But we've been talking a lot about Portillo's in the comments. And see, like I told you, like I actually follow the comments. It's really legit. That's why the viewer comes first. But anyways, like that's one thing about the South. The South has got really bland uh, food. And Portillo's, man, the spices, the beef, the peppers, the salt. I mean, just the meat quality. Look at this beef and cheddar croissant. Char grilled Italian sausage sandwich. Let's just click on that. Doesn't that look good with the green peppers wrapped around it? I'm looking at Portillo's Naperville. Look at this. Combo beef. This is what I always got. Some beef on there plus the sausage. That's fucking hot, dude. Totally hey, fucking hot. Cats, All right. Excellent. Sitting sandwich. at 11.2 Bitcoin. Sitting at 63559. Got good news though. E3088. BNB close to 600. You know the story, Morning Glory retailers jacked up prices and squeezed consumers that may have just blinked okay i'm bringing this up because we know crypto is fueled very largely by the retail market and by a lot of bots doing trading let's just be real here when the price on every exchange globally just all goes down at once let's just be real here okay listen to this the budget conscious consumer is no longer just lower middle income earners by far the starkest decrease in the intent to spend is coming from higher income groups. And those that were previously immune to an economic downturn are tightening their belts. So essentially what they're saying is now even the rich are becoming budget conscious. The rich now are starting to hold back on their spending, starting to think, whoa, we may need to save some cash here because things are going to be rough for a while retailers are noticing that retailers are noticing that the high-end earners aren't spending like they used to now bitcoin did jump above sixty-five thousand. fed report etf inflows yeah we had an etf inflow which was really good i was very happy to see that um but a jobs report also shifted uh some expectations with the fed and I, I, we're not going to go over uh, FOMC projections right now. That's for another video. But we are going to have CPI data here. And, and CPI data will be released on May 15th. So we got about nine-ish days until that happens. But the move is because of a jobs report. The last issue of the U.S. labor market report consolidated Bitcoin above 60000 on May 3rd. The rise happened shortly after the publication of the U.S. jobs report, which shifted expectations that the Federal Reserve may cut one thing from november to september so basically saying hey look we were going to get some november action now we're going to get some september action the high money like the high end odds right now are for december and that would be this right here december 17th and 18th so that's still the odds on favor so this jobs report comes out and basically what they're saying is again if all of a sudden the consumer is pulling back if the jobs report isn't looking as juicy as it was before then maybe these rate cuts are working. Maybe inflation will come down. Because think, if, if the, the rich out there aren't spending, that means then that the people selling the goods are like, well, wait a minute. So there's really not that much demand for our stuff. We might have to lower our prices to increase people buying our product. So this is good news for us. This is good news. And I know, I know there's a lot of like, you know, wang humor and a lot of naughtiness, but there's also a lot of learning that happens on the channel. You just got to get through my version of humor. So now with the rich pulling back, the jobs report the way it is, they're saying, hey, look, our odds of getting a cut are becoming better and better that we're going to get one this year. Okay, let's get to some uh, Stellar Polygon news here. Franklin Templeton tokenizes $380 million fund on Polygram and Stellar. 
Franklin Templeton's embrace of blockchain can enable peer-to-peer -peer transfer shares in its Franklin on-chain United States government fund, FOBXX, using the Benji token. Uh, I'll share this quote with you. We are excited that Benji token holders will have the ability to transfer shares amongst each other. Eventually, we hope for assets built on blockchain rails such as Franklin on-chain U.S. government money fund to work seamlessly with the rest of the digital asset ecosystem. Um, essentially, what this is is tokenization uh, using Stellar Polygon chain. Uh, good news, I would say, uh, for devs. Good news for notoriety. I would say good news for uh, giving the chain uh, some purpose and use case. I think those are all fair statements. Um, when it comes to price, I mean, nothing burger, like, okay, okay, okay. Check this out. Check this out. See, and this is not a zero calorie, nothing burger. This is a char grilled Maxwell street polish. Look at this melted cheese, caramelized onions on there, premium Polish sausage buns that, you know, are just they're They're firm enough to hold the meat, but yet at the same time, you know, they haven't been left out. So they're fresh, like just prepared correctly. So anyways, that is Franklin Templeton, okay? Nothing burger for XLM holders, as you can see right here. But when we start talking about for the Stellar Chain, it's kind of more along the juicy sausage. So on this hand, nothing burger. On this hand, well, I wish it was Portillo's because it's definitely not a nothing burger. Which one do you think the XLM price action falls on? Nothing burger. Yeah, no one wants a nothing burger. We want the Portillo's. Um, I... I, I get it. I mean, development-wise, this is great. I, I do. I think it's good for notoriety of the chain. Um, again, like, it's just, hey, people are using it. That's that's cool stuff, right? Like, I, I do like that. Um, I just, I, I, I guess I'm just looking at this from the perspective of probably 99% of you, which is you're into it for, you know, uh, cheese, paper company, to buy Portillo's, right? Um, I, I, I think that, that you look at this and you go, gosh, this is just another, like, Dud. And I get it. I get it. You could be sold the same BS sale of goods, you know, where it's like, oh, but don't wait, future and mooning this and that. But when you look at the performance XM to BTC, when you look at the performance compared to the other top 40, it's poor. When when we were first covering XM on this channel, I mean, we were talking like top 10 market cap action. Now we're in the 30s. I... I mean, like, I, I, I guess it's just, it, it's, it is, it's, it's Portillo's in one hand, which is good for the Stellar Chain, nothing burger on this hand, which is what XLM holders got. That's the news, and now tell me you're not hungry. Hey, you skank asshole, make me a goddamn ham sandwich.